Hi, I'm Kevin Cooper, Nevada High School, and this is my individual career development plan presentation. My general focus of my plan was qualitative feedback on assessments uh, to improve assessments for greater student success. I collected, uh, my objective was to collect qualitative data from students on areas for assessment improvement and also develop some innovation for improving formative and summative assessment. I made a hard copy questionnaire and the following questions were on the questionnaire. What did you like about the assessment? What did you feel needs adjustment or your suggestions for improvement? If the assessment was leveled or had proficiency scales, do you feel that with preparation the level four was attainable? Also, was there anything unclear in the assessment? And if there was a rubric for scoring the assessment, was the rubric clear? And finally, did formative assessments help you with the summative assessment? Examples, one, two, three, write, one minute paper, quick write, and so forth, or conferring. Uh, my assessment hard copy feedback, what I compiled from several classes and tests, uh, was several students liked the leveled assessment so they knew exactly what they had to do master for varying proficiency and corresponding scores. Also, students appreciated challenges in the assessment that made them think harder and remember certain financial terminology. And uh, word banks were appreciated, especially in the horticulture classes with plant morphology and so much, so many terms there. Uh, students like not having multiple choice on summative assessments and study guides for the test help students focus on important technical jargon. Uh, they like the online uh, electronic canvas test because they can type faster <clears throat> and it's easier than writing. Uh, for areas of improvement on, uh, that I determined from my hard copy uh, questionnaire was on the electronic form on Canvas, uh, they would like to have some multiple choice questions or drop down bar with definitions to choose from. And uh, they would like more use of notes in the assessments like the real world uh, test that we, that they get to use open notes uh, I think trying to interpret that, does it mean more problem solving or application of the knowledge uh, and standard application type work? And then they would like to have more clarity on some of the questions that were asked. And also, uh, response on area of improve for improvement was to check and make sure all details covered in class are also on the summative assessment. Now I switched to a digital survey, a Google survey, uh, in late January, February, and <clears throat> using the digital survey, my respondents, 92% of 70 respondents said classroom instruction and lab activities helped them be successful on summative assessments. 55% of 70 respondents said no real adjustments need to be made on uh, formative or preparation for uh, summative assessments. 97% of 70 respondents stated that the leveled assessment were clear and attainable with preparation. And 90% of 70 respondents stated that formative assessments helped their success on summative assessments. Some of the formative assessments that were initiated in March included the one minute paper or quick write, uh, where in the last few minutes of class, uh, summary on half, the summary on half a sheet of paper of the most important thing that they learned that day and what was understood the least. So we had that range, good feedback. And then news article or application article was in the last 15 minutes of class, students write a short news article about the major points in the real world situations or students write about how the point applies to their major area of study. And then finally, what we invested in and was probably one of the most refreshing things that I helped, I think, added excitement and some spirit to our preparation for uh, 
sum, summative uh, standards, exams, was the whiteboard check, where rapid questions to students, we give them and then they write them down on the board and hold up the board uh, so I can see if it's right or wrong. And here's a picture of the students doing the whiteboard check uh, for an informal assessment. Uh, checking their understanding and that's horticulture students and you can see they're answering phlegm or xylem as uh, capillary tissue within the plants. Additional formative assessments utilized were the chain notes uh, where we pass around a large envelope with a question about the class content. Each student writes a short answer or question, puts an envelope and passes it around. Then we also did 3, 2, 1, write at the end of class period, uh, students write down three things they learned, two things the students wanted to know more about, and one question. Uh, and then also student conferring, where the teacher meets with students individually to check understanding of key material. Uh, I walk around the room and do conferring. A uh, question may be created in advance or work may be reviewed. Here's a picture of the chain notes, as you can see the students placing their note in the just a old recycled envelope but here again something different little excitement transitioning to something different in the classroom and it, it, it we all actually really enjoyed that so I'd have to say the informative and formative assessments were a really a good addition this past year and uh, the whole process added to greater student success uh, on standard uh, performance. Thank you, and that concludes my individual career development plan.